Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about uh, whether you should be using the import in JavaScript or the require. Uh, for many apps and many front-end frameworks, uh, they could be used interchangeably. So let me just show you an example here. This is using the require, which is the node way of doing things. Uh, wherever the module gets exported, it gets assigned to that variable uh, from so jQuery module will be assigned to dollar data tables dot net module would be assigned to dollar dot data table so just to illustrate the point let's say we have importing a Re react which is a default component and if i go to the definition you can see it is actually using require here so you can see that in many cases you can really work with both at the same time in a at least in a front end framework such as react or even angular 2 so whatever is being exported gets assigned there and that's what it is so to illustrate the point, I'm going to uh, change this here to uh, use the new syntax, which, which is highly recommended for ESX6. So I can just say import dollar from jQuery here. And similarly, we can do this for the other one. We can say import dt from datatables.net and we can assign dt to this and it should pretty much uh, work so if i go into my react app uh, you can see if i update the source uh, it has the new uh, import statements and it is working fine so this is actually quite highly recommended if you want to learn more about import you can go to the mozilla developer network and you can see there is a concept of default exports and the name exports so i'm going to il illustrate the name exports uh, just with this example so if you look in my app it is importing table so this is called a name export from this file called the module the dot table so if you can see here we have export class table and we are exporting that and there is no magic to this and we can actually just say uh, another export export uh, var junk and hopefully uh, we should be able to now just see junk as a named export in here and here you can see that's a name junk so you can export many different things from your uh, file and be able to access it that's what the named exports are so the only major difference to think about is named exports are typically under the curly brackets here and default exports you can just kind of uh, keep it that way and here you can kind of give it a name also uh, I'll put this video under uh, Gaur Associates under JavaScript require versus import. Thank you for watching this short introduction to require versus import. And you have a great day.